Hi guys, so today's video I am going to show you how to use images as a background in HTML and CSS and I'm also going to show you how you can then move these images into folders and subfolders and still call them as your background image in CSS. So I'm going to start with Notepad++ and I'm going to set my language to HTML. I'm just going to create a basic HTML page. Um, Title as images and close that off. We'll create a body and we're going to leave the body blank for the time being. We're going to do file, oops, file, save as, and we're going to save this in my folder where I have all of my images at the moment. I'm going to call it index.html and I'm going to save the file type as .html and save as. Now I'm going to create a new page. I'm going to go to the language C, CSS, and I'm simply just going to open up a body tag. Now I'm going to use the background image and URL equals, and we're going to go in and have a look at my images. And I'm just going to go ahead and use the bird image. It's the first one there. So we're going to do bird.png. I'm going to save this as styles. Uh, dot CSS, sorry, and we're going to save it as a CSS file, and then we just need to go in here and we need to write out my HTML code to call the style sheet. So I'm going to do link href equals styles dot CSS, and then rel equals style sheet and type equals text slash CSS and close that off there like so and we're going to run that and you'll see that the bird is my background image it's repeated but we can change that later on so now I'm going to call it from a folder so I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this a images and we're going to move the line photo into the images folder. So we're going to go to CSS. I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to leave this here in commented out code for you guys to see. And we'll do birds. So now what we need to do is we need to call it from within a folder. So you do that by simply adding a backslash and images. And we move the lion, so we need to change it to lion.png. Save and run that in Google Chrome. And now we have the lion background, and this is within a folder. So if you're creating a web page, it's nice to have all your HTML files there, then have a folder for your background image or for your images. Now, if you wanted to create a subfolder, so we call this sub images. And let's go ahead and just drag the moose into the images and then drag moose into sub images. Now I'm going to go back into my style sheet. I'm just going to drag this down and comment that out. Paste it in there. I'm going to do images forward slash, forward slash sub images forward slash and I move the moose.png. We'll go back and we'll run that. And there we go. Now we have the moose. So that is pretty much it. Just quickly, I will show you how you can get rid of it from repeating. So if you do background, uh, background, no repeats, and we simply say no repeat there. And why hasn't that worked? Oh, sorry. Um, Oh, we don't need the no in this one, sorry. And then if we do background position as center. Now, this will make it stop repeating, and then this will move the image to the center. So I'll just quickly show you what that looks like. And that didn't work. Why didn't that work? Um, that should have worked. We'll just rerun that.
no repeats, not non-repeat. My bad, guys. Sorry about that. And um, we will just run that in Google Chrome. And there we go. Now you have your background image. I hope this video has helped you guys. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And um, drop a comment down below if you need any help. And I will try and get back to you. Also drop a comment if you have any suggestion videos that you would like to see. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. Bye. Thank you.